Hello and welcome. Today we recover a Word document that was deleted by mistake or not saved or the file was just gone or whatever other reason. This is valid for Microsoft Word from the Office 2013, 16, 19 and most of the versions, even the older ones, I'm not sure how far back this can go, but uh, it works with 13 and 16 and 19. So here we have Microsoft Office 2019 and this is Word, Excel and PowerPoint. And I'm going to try this with a Word document and um, just to see, to show you, just to show you that it actually works and it's very easy to do this. Um, you don't need help from anyone. You can do this all yourself at home or at work, wherever you are. This is very, very important to know to recover your files when they get lost. Okay, let's begin. First thing to do is to open the Word document and you know how to open a Word document. So, okay, now the, the Word document I'm working on is this super important document and I'm gonna type something here. Test, do not lose this. 1019 I think it's about time now 1027 the document is not saved yeah so I'll close it don't save oh no Okay, so now I have the document. First thing I will show you is if you actually delete it just by pressing delete and it goes to the recycling bin, if it's on your computer or local computer, delete, it's gone, right? Well, not really. You just go to the recycle bin and you will find the document there. Click, right click on it, restore. And it's back. This is if you deleted the file but that was saved. The one we have here is not saved. So this recycling, recycle bin restore wouldn't really do anything because the document was not saved at all. Um, so we have to do this thing in the, to use the recovery in Word. And I'm going to show you that I can actually permanently delete this with shift delete. And now it's gone and it's not in the recycling bin, it's uh, completely gone. Okay, to recover the a Word, a Word document that was not saved, you, you will have a, usually the, the default setting is it keeps a copy of the file of every 10 minutes. So if you, if you don't save the changes, you will lose the changes that you made in the last 10 minutes. Um, okay. So I'm going to show you how you can change the settings so that it's faster also. It's uh, also it's easier to demonstrate this to you now so we don't have to wait too long. Um, the way you do this, you go to file. So you click on file here on the menu on top. And then click options. You see I did this before and it, it, I, didn't, uh, I didn't wait long enough for it. So I'm going to show you now uh, how to make it sooner. So you click on file and then you go to options below here. These are the settings for Word, the preferences and click on save. And here it's the, the settings you have for uh, auto recover is every 10 minutes. This is the default and it's important to keep this also checked. Keep the last auto, re auto recover version if I close without saving. And you can set the location and this is, this is the location that I will, uh, I will keep it. Okay. So this is something interesting. It's, it's making a, Okay, I got confused a bit because I was going to the wrong place. I was, I, it was, it's a bit strange that it's doing this. Okay, so 
If I want to recover this file now, it seems to be gone. Oh, this is it's so it's gonna be so difficult now to explain. <laughs> so the file is gone, but I can I can choose open. This is another way. Click recover unsaved documents. And if you see here, this path is not the same path that we have in the in the setting there. The one I showed you before, it's it was different. Interesting. So let's try to go to the path. I'll just copy the path in here, press enter. And I have I have something here, so that's a super important document. And I have the the doc file and the ASD file. I'm not sure now which one I could open, but 1027 ASD is the most recent one. So let's try to open it. And look, it's here. <laughs> okay, somehow I did it. It's I was just going to the wrong path for for the recovery. That's all. Okay, so we have the Word document here. It's all recovered and now you want to save it. Let's call it recovered so we know which one it is. Okay, I'll close everything and I go in my test doc folder. I open this recovered file and the changes are there. All the changes I made are there. And I'm really glad this worked because I was going to show you the wrong path, but it's uh, it's good to check the path that Word has set so you know where to look for the files. So here in this at this point, you know, you either go to info, manage recover, uh, manage documents, recover and save documents. And the the thing is that this uh, path here is wrong, so I don't know. I don't know why it's going directly to this uh, path. Um, I can't explain it. So you might find it in one path or the other. So choose file info or there, or you can use the open command, recover and save files, but go to the path that you, s you have in your options set in Windows. So you can also do it here. Click on the file name, control V paste, I should show you with the mouse. So you uh, click here and just paste as normal. Press enter and to take you to the folder where you where you were. You can also do the same here on top. Control V, paste, enter, and you're there. So yeah, that's the super important document that was recovered. And uh, yeah, now uh, this one the doc x file doesn't open so you have to know which one you're opening you have to open the asd file so we go to the asd file also you will see that the most recent file is the one that you want to open in the folder that has the name of your document if you have more documents you will have more uh, folders here but you will look for the one that has the name of your Word document that you are working on. So you click on the ASD file, you open it, and you have it there. I'm not gonna recover it again because it's it's uh, done. So I'm gonna save it this one time. Just remember to save your files. Just Control S. Just sometimes you press Control S and it's all good. It's to Control S. It's to save. So what you always want to check is in the options, save in the save settings, check this path for you. It might be different. So you just go there, you copy the path and uh, try to go to that folder and try to recover the word document from there. Also, what you could try to do is to uh, reduce the time here so that it's not every 10 minutes, but more often maybe even every five minutes or maybe even every one minute if you have some really important document and you really don't want to lose it i will say that five minutes i believe five minutes is pretty pretty good so yeah this is uh, this is how I, I think i'll keep it at five minutes this is the video i hope 
it really helps you with something and I'm glad this worked and it wasn't a failure okay so so the same way you recover the, a Word document it's the same way you will recover an Excel document surprise surprise so let's uh, have a look at that quickly file open recover unsaved workbooks and you know the rest so you can recover an Excel Excel file also and manage workbook recover unsaved workbooks now the path here it will be the same thing in file options save and for you for Excel it will be this path I will save this too just so you so you have it and the the path the common path and again I will make it five minutes just to make sure that everything gets saved so file info manage workbook recover this path I will also save this for you you will see that it's actually the same path for Word and Excel but actually they save in their own separate folder so yeah, you have to check this path if you get your Word document back and this really helps you Help us also by sharing this video, tell, uh, tell your friends about our channel and like the video, write a comment below that it worked, let us know how happy you are. And if you're not happy and it's not working, also let us know, maybe, maybe there is a way to fix it further. So yeah, that's it. Hopefully it's all good and you got your document back and it's, uh, it's fine to continue typing your document. Subscribe, like and share and I will see you next time. Bye.